Hello, Gemma here and I'm at home today and I am desperate for something colourful. Summer's just about coming to an end and I do like baking lots of chocolatey caramelly things but they're all very brown aren't they? So I want some colour and I want some pop. So I'm going to show you something really delicious and it's all completely natural. It's going to be a bright pink hibiscus cupcake. Hibiscus is actually a flower and it's found in parts of South and Central America and also the Caribbean and it's really really pretty as it's alive but when it dries out it goes like this, it looks a bit like dried chilli but when you steep it in water it becomes absolutely delicious, it makes this really nice drink called Agua Fresca, it's kind of tart, um, not really floral like roses or lavender, it's kind of sharp like lemons almost. Um, so I'm going to start by putting that in a saucepan. So I have 25 grams of dried hibiscus flowers. I'm just gonna pop them into my saucepan. And along with that, I'm gonna put 250 milliliters of water. So already the pink is starting to release into the water. So you can imagine how strong this color is gonna be when we're finished. But for now, I'm just gonna turn that on and just bring it to a simmer and simmer it for two or three minutes and then leave it to cool. My hibiscus water is completely cooled down now, so I'm just going to strain all the petals out using a sieve. And then just put that to one side. The petals, you'll probably want to discard most of them, but I'm going to keep some back for decoration later. So now it's time to get on with making the cupcakes. And I'm going to do a really simple vanilla sponge cupcakes. If you wanted to make hibiscus cupcakes and make them all pink inside, that's absolutely up to you. Just replace the milk with hibiscus water that you just made, but I'm just gonna keep it simple. And I'm gonna start with 125 grams of self-raising flour. And I'm also gonna add 125 grams of caster sugar and a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, 125 grams of soft unsalted butter and two large free range eggs. And I'm gonna beat that together for about one minute on a medium speed. And once it's ready, it's then time to add one and a half tablespoons of whole milk with a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract mixed in. And then beat that on a medium speed for another 30 seconds. And when that's done, you just need to then distribute it into your cupcake pan. I've got a 12 hole cupcake pan already lined with paper cases. I'm just gonna scoop those out using a spoon. And then once you've got rid of all your batter, you just need to bake those at 170 degrees C for 20 to 22 minutes. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave those to cool down and get on with making my buttercream. So to start with, I've got 150 grams of soft unsalted butter. I'm just gonna beat that for about five minutes. And once it's really nice and pale, you then need to add 340 grams of sifted icing sugar in two stages, beating really well after each addition. My icing's looking really good. It's gone really pale and very airy. So now it's time to add the exciting bit, which is the hibiscus. So I'm gonna start by adding three tablespoons and giving it a really good mix. Well, it's ready and wow, look at this beautiful pink colour. It's almost as pink as my spatula, which is brilliant. So now I'm going to get on with icing them. So I'm going to pop my icing into a piping bag. You don't have to do that. You can ice these any which way you like, but for what we're going to do next, doing it with a piping bag is going to be really good. Now my cakes are completely cool, so it's time to decorate them. And as I said, I'm doing it with a piping bag because I'm gonna glaze these afterwards and I'm gonna do that by dipping them in. So the rounder they are, the easier that'll be. So if you use a star nozzle, it's gonna get very weird and drippy. So I'm just gonna start by putting a blob on each one.
And once you've decorated all your cakes, you just need to put those in the fridge for about 15 or 20 minutes while you get on with the next bit. My cupcakes are chilling out in the fridge and so I'm going to get on with making my hibiscus glaze and this is going to make a really nice kind of coating for the top but it's also going to be super strong in colour, even more strong than that buttercream believe it or not. So I've got 235 grams of icing sugar which I've already sifted and to that I'm going to add 50 millilitres of my lovely hibiscus water. And a pinch of salt and half a tablespoon of golden syrup or corn syrup if you can't find that. And then all you need to do is mix that all up with a whisk until it's gone really smooth. And that's ready. Now obviously that didn't take very long, so my cakes have still got to chill out for a little bit longer so they firm up a bit. So if you're not ready to use your glaze, the best thing to do is to put a layer of cling film directly onto the surface. So I'm going to do that now. I'm back with my cupcakes, they're nice and cool, and I've also transferred my glaze into a smaller, deeper bowl for dipping, because I don't want to smush the icing shape. So I'm just literally going to pick them up and dip them in. Once you've dipped it in, you might have to just kind of angle it a little bit when you pull it up, just so it doesn't dribble too much over the sides, but then pop it down and when it's ready. Well, I wanted colour and I got it. These are pretty much fluorescent pink and I love them. And they look pretty good as they are, but I'm going to top them with some hibiscus petals. I basically just put a couple of tablespoons of the hibiscus water and a few petals and about a tablespoon of water and just cook that down to a syrupy. I'm just going to pop those on top. And there they are, super pink, super bright, really delicious hibiscus cupcakes. Just gonna have a little nibble. Mmm. Mm. Wow, hibiscus has got such a unique flavour. It's sour, but not citrusy sour. It's really interesting and so pink, your eyes kind of do something weird in your brain. Um, and I like the fact that it's just a plain vanilla sponge, but you could, like I said, you could make it a, a hibiscus sponge and make it really, the whole thing, pink all the way through. But I quite like the simplicity of vanilla. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and enjoyed the pinkness of it all. Um, I'll be back next week with another recipe for you guys. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please do by clicking on the link at the end. You'll get an update every time I do a video, which may or may not be more than once a week every now and then, just so you know. Uh, and I will be back next week, so see you then. Bye.